Good afternoon, I'm Dave Thompson. I am the Education Director for the ACE Academy of Cleaning Excellence and President of the Green Clean Institute. This afternoon I'm joined by, well, you know, a few individuals as you can see here. We're going to talk about our master's class here in Orlando. So come on back after this message and we'll talk with these guys. From Orlando, Florida, and the ACE Learning Center at Gym Supply. It's Beyond Clean with Dave, a weekly broadcast for professionals in environmental health services around the world. Your host is David Thompson, Director of Education for Gym Supply, and his mantra is I am a janitor and I save lives. And now let's listen to Beyond Clean with Dave and today's guest at the ACE Learning Center in sunny downtown Orlando. Well, good afternoon. There are three words which I focus on each and every Friday afternoon. Those words, healthy, positive, and proactive. Now, this afternoon's agenda is a little bit different than what you may have seen before. As you can tell, I've got two gentlemen with me. They're from our master's cl cleaning class here that we've had in Orlando. We haven't finished our week, but you know what? They decided to come and join me on the TV set. So, you know, I want to, you to introduce you to Jess and Rosario. So, tell the people where you're from. Uh, hey, uh, Dave, I'm, I'm Rosario. I'm from uh, New York City. I've been in the environmental service housekeeping business for over, a little bit over 20 years. Um, I'm here for the master's training certificate in Green Cleaning Institute. Uh, I've only been here a few days and I've, I've learned a lot from the class from, that's different from what I thought I knew about green cleaning. Oh, okay, so you've learned a little bit only in a few days. We've got a few more days to go, but Jess, tell the audience who you are. Yeah, so I'm Jess Badewan, and I'm a division head for government agency in the custodial services and environmental services. And again, I'm here for the master's class. And um, I'll tell you, the value of the master's class for me is just being able to stay ahead of my team. My team is very well educated. They recently just finished their environmental uh, technicians course. And so to be able to move that one extra space above them, kind of uh, maintain my position as their leader. So that, they're, so they're educated important. and now you're going to advance your education as well. Yes, definitely. And, and I do, I feel like that's really important. And I'll tell you, Dave, even after just three days and we've still got a day and a half to go, it's been great because of, of the additional value added that you bring in stuff that's in the leadership and in the management position and even a little marketing that's outside of just you know the dailies as far as the cleaning goes right rosario right and, and to piggyback off of that i think that taking the actual live class and getting away from work a week was 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 paramount because of all the other interactions that you provided that would not normally be inside of an online class. Okay, so you talked about being away from work. So you're not talking about a vacation here. No, it's not a vacation. No, definitely <laughs> you know, not. The, you're here from eight to five, you know. Yeah. So you know <laughs> This is class. It's this work. is class. It's and, work. But it's worth it because a lot of you know while I'm here in the classroom amongst so everyone who's here, you know, you feel everyone's passion. You know, you won't get that from an online course, just reading, okay, you know, read this paragraph and then take a test. So what's you the know? important part of the education then? The important part of this is the actual feedback that you get more, you know, instantly from everyone who's here and, and from, from the instructor, yeah. as opposed to just feeding back yourself from what you read on the internet. Yeah. You know, you might have questions when you're reading it online, but you don't, but you don't know. So then now, from that one question that you have that you can ask the instructor or your fellow classmates, you build a whole dialogue behind that. So I think that that was crucial and that was uh, very good for me personally for being able to get away. Now, some people might ask, you know. How are you able to get away for a week, you know? But how can you not be able to get away for a week? That one week that you get away from work is gonna help you build upon, you know, the rest of your you know, career doing this. Yeah, and honestly, um, we all have our smart devices. We brought our computers with us. We have our work phones, you know, our smartphones. We're able to stay in touch with what needs to have done. Rosario had a couple of uh, very serious incidents. I had one that I had to take care of here remotely. Yeah, I'm 2,000 miles away, but that does, it's not prohibitive from us if we do need to step in and handle something for 10 minutes or 30 minutes. We're able to get that done now, and I still gotta, be here. I gotta tell you, there's a snowstorm going on in New York while we're down here, <laughs> and this guy here was on his phone watching his people in a snowstorm and managing things from here. So you know, That's folks, true. I think this is what, and I like this exchange of information because 
you know, what I provide as an instructor is, is usually just the facilitating of the conversation between you guys. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. I, I, I think it's been it. awesome. I think that, you know, if, if anyone is serious about wanting to further their education, you know, and I, and I commend you because you said that your staff was GCI certified and then you're yes. here as, as technicians and now you're here as the master. You know, I think that's great because now you're all on board. So, you know, it looks like you, you've already applied what he's teaching that has to come from the top down. But, you know, the other thing I value from that, Rosario, is the conversation that we had last night, which is, hey, I've been through this already. Let me help you to get in touch with Dave and work out a plan so that your staff can be in the same place. Absolutely, because, um, listen, no matter where it's at, whether you're on a campus or on a health service or on a, a reservation, a casino, whatever it is, if you want to be proactive and maintain a healthy environment, then you have to be positive and just just jump ahead. Okay, so now you heard him. He got all my three words in. Healthy, positive, proactive. <laughs> that was <laughs> hey, You didn't program that, but see, that's the whole thing. In, in, in a short time, we've changed, started changing the mindset. You know, I think a lot of people that are listening are probably thinking, you know, okay, so you addressed the time issue, mm -hmm. but you know what? There's other things that it involve. I think you guys were talking. I heard some of the conversation. You also did some things before you got here to prepare not just yourself, but your team. Well, definitely for me personally, because this was such a big di um, distance, um, my government usually sets a thousand miles as a radius for going to training. And we're a little outside of that. Yeah, about double that or yeah. a little more than <laughs> yeah. double that. But um, the fact is, I think that number one, because we already have a history, you know, I've been using GCI training for four and a half years now. Right. And so then they're understanding those steps and the certification of our building, our, our facilities, as well as our staff, then it was, that was a fairly easy sell to say, well, now for me to be able to take this master's technician course one step or two steps above, then that became an easier sell. Um, additionally, putting things in place back home as far as getting the team organized, setting up leadership and contingencies so that everyone was comfortable with me being away. So I heard you say that it wasn't only for uh, leadership, there's also information that you've talked about for technicians. So what are you gonna do with this ed education when you get home? I mean, how long does this education look good? It's worth a lifetime, you know, maybe. The, any education is worth a lifetime. It's, it's, it's how, how are we going to go home and apply it now? I'm, gonna, I'm thrilled. I can't wait to get home and share some of this information with my staff, um, which your staff already had the benefit of having. But, you know, just the other day when I was going through the, through the material, there was that one quote about I am a janitor and I save lives and where the whole janitor and custodial thing came from. And I Registered shared that. trademark belonging right. to that. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you can say it here. I'm here. You can do that. <laughs> right, but I shared it with one of my colleagues and, and just the, the, the impact that those one statements make, you know, it's, 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 it's crucial, you know, just to get someone out of the mindset, okay, no, he, he or she is just a janitor. You know, we're not. Well, I think what was interesting when I heard you say that in the, in the feeling that I could feel from you when you talked about that, I got a chance this week to actually show you why I had created that and what the passion is behind that. You know, we're talking about health. We're talking about people's lives. And I think what people don't realize is we're in the risk management team. I mean, have you, have, yeah, have, have you heard that this week? Yeah, yeah, yes. absolutely. And you've definitely touched on it several times. And it's funny because now this sustainability and this green thing is just like a big thing now and we're thinking that green oh for it's me definitely, definitely gaining traction for sure right but i my impression as most of the, a lot of other people is green cleaning is, is recycling it's turning off lights it's you know using the green cleaners but well what what do you mean what isn't it well no because here i learned that it's it's it's, it's a collaboration of things it's the indoor air quality it's the preventive maintenance it's so much more and it all ties into health. I think in your in your class I learned that green equals health impacts with an S. Yeah, don't read the S, don't read the S. <laughs> well, so they're, what they're talking about, you know, you have exams. Yes. I mean, this isn't all fun and games. We're it's not given to you. It's, it's not given to you. You have to take an exam. So you have to listen to what he's saying. But there was there was a test question on there, and he forgot the S, and he failed the answer. And don't he, give what it away. Is, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just got one question wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but I mean, you know, the thing is, is everybody says, you know, why? Why? I mean, you know, I've been cleaning for a long time. Why do I need to go on a master's class? 
This is an ISSA verified master's class. Does that have any impact? Does that have any weight? I mean, I guess the thing is, is I see people come here and afterwards I'm like, you know, really, how, how much is this going to impact their community, their lives back home? Yeah. So honestly, for me personally, having had all that education, it's true that the basics are being retreaded, but we know that repetition is the mother of retention. Mm -hmm. And so uh, for, for the basics, this may be my third or fourth time going through it. On top of that, I facilitate training like this. Right. However, it's, it's what comes on top of that. It's the additional considerations. It's the risk management. It's the leadership. It's understanding how to communicate this to your staff, frontline, uh, interim management, um, and the other people, the facilities managers, HR, and, and that this encompasses all of those things and allows us to cover that right. in a comprehensive right. way. Right. I agree. To say. I can feel it. Right. No, I agree to what he's saying, but I want to piggyback off that now because you mentioned ISSA. It's, it's, it's a globally recognized you know, housekeeping, right. custodial service. Um, what you don't have a lot of global companies is doing is that the green cleaning. You know, everybody's not up to speed yet as to what the green cleaning is. But now, That's if you listen true. to some people, everybody already understands. Everybody you. knows green. Yeah, you go, you you know, you get the um, degradable simple liners, green. you get simple <laughs> green, you go to Walmart. No, it, it's a lot more. Yeah. And we're at the genesis stage of where this green cleaning is going to go. Well, it's where really where, starting where to gain traction. To educate people. And I haven't met anyone like yourself, actually, who has, no, who I don't know if that was good or bad. Yeah, no, but, but who has been doing this and is on the forefront of bringing this forward? So, well, you, you know, know, the thing is, is, as, as I say in class, and, I, and everybody has watched the show up to now or will watch it later, you know, this is a personal mission for me, you know, because I'm affected personally. And I think that's the whole thing. If people understand, we're not just custodians, we're not just janitors. And I think this is where. People get that word and they, we, well, you know, we've misused the word. The word janitor isn't bad. Right. The word cleaner isn't bad. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the thing is that you're hearing here is we need to articulate this in a different way. And I think that's what you're doing and you've learned this week so far. And you've actually got a little bit left to, yet to go for class. Now yes. the question is, are we going to learn any more? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for I'm sure. going to learn some things from you because I learned a few things from both of you. And you know what? We've got New York, we've got Colorado, we've got Florida. Doesn't matter where you're at That's geographically. Well, oh, Missouri. Oh, well, Missouri came in there too. I have a transplant. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. You know, but I, I think that's the thing is people say, but you don't know my region, my country. You don't know my region. You know, this is worldwide. This it's isn't it's something just here. Cleaning it's like principles. music. It's an international language. Ooh. Oh, now I like that. Yeah. That's patented it's by Rosario. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Register trademark. Yeah, That's well, yeah, right. <laughs> so I mean, you know, if anybody is thinking about coming to the master's class, the SITS uh, master's class, they should consider it. Why? If you're serious about knowing about the way the world is moving towards green cleaning, and you want to know exactly what it's about and what it entails, then this class is paramount. Not only that, do you get to get a cool shirt like that, custom made, but it's, it's, it's okay, paramount. Now, 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 look, now he that, made that himself, now, but it's a cool shirt. We're going to have to show his shirt now. Okay. You, we have to he, zoom he in on that. My, my crew, when they get through the GCI technicians course, each get a shirt like this. And actually now, they have to do this within the first 90 days in their probationary period. First 90 days? They have to get through that course. Cool. And then they earn a shirt. Now I'm going to have one that says that I'm a master technician. Right. No, no, but now, but now, why is that important that they have to have it in the first nine days? Because you want to make sure that everybody they understand on your team the program. understand the program, so that you know when you go back to the client or to the staff member that your team is cleaning the way you want them to clean. Because why? Because they have been trained and certified. Well, this you know, class how how is an investment. Yes, you're investing your time. Yes, you're investing a little bit of money. But this is an investment for the future, for you personally, your career, for your team, for your program, and for the people at large. So this just continues to grow and spread. And so that investment is going to last a very long time. It's well worth every effort that you're going to make. Bottom line, if you want to, if, if you want to provide a safe, clean, healthy environment, you've got to be proactive, yeah. stay positive, yeah. 
do it for your staff, yourself, your faculty, your members, your students, whatever it is, this is the way you gotta go. Yeah, and we, we're dedicated to be a lifelong learner, and this is one very big piece of the pie. Gosh, folks, I, I gotta tell you, I couldn't have said it any better if I just scripted this. Hey, that's the great thing about doing a live show. I never know what they're gonna say, <laughs> but you know what? I couldn't have said it better. You know what, if you've been watching me, we always have uh, our programs. If you're in the Orlando area, if you're anywhere in our uh, Florida area, we do have our classes. They are on the, our website at gymsupply.net. Now, if you go to the education tab, you're gonna find uh, all, all of our classes listed there. Make sure that you look for the city because we've got four locations in Central Florida. I also have a Facebook channel. I want you to come and like me. Uh, share. I know I've got a bald head, but like me anyway on Facebook. I also have a website called beyondcleanwithdave.com. There you can find anything. I might even get these guys' pictures up there and show some stuff. Who <laughs> no, knows what I'm not gonna do? It's, it's okay. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> so that's our show for right now. So until next Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, live right here from Orlando, Florida, I'm Dave Thompson. Keep changing your future, keep those changes healthy, positive, and proactive, and remember my mantra, we are janitors. We save we lives. We save lives. Thank you. All right. Come on back next week. You have been listening to Beyond Clean with Dave and his guest. Sharing what you learn with others is what turns knowledge into professional development. Live classes are hosted each week at one or more of our four locations in Central Florida. Remember, janitors save lives. Be sure to put us on your schedule to watch next week as we present another broadcast of Beyond Clean with Dave.